Hey teachers, today I have five easy, quick activities to improve students' listening skills and at the same time have lots of fun doing it. Let's go. Our first activity is fill in the blank for song lyrics. One, find a song, obviously. Uh, I know songs can be very tricky, so check the links in my description for lists of songs. Two, copy and paste the lyrics into a Word document and remove some of the words and leave a blank in their place. Three, if you want it to be extra challenging, you can leave out full phrases or idioms. Finally, play the song for your students two to three times and have them fill in as many many of the blanks as they can. Number two is draw a story. Read a short story or a description of a scenery to your students and have them draw out a picture based on their own interpretation. They can draw one big vertical or horizontal picture or, and this is what I personally like to do, ask them to divide the page into multiple panels, four or five, to look like a comic strip. With most levels, you have to read the story or the description twice, sometimes more, so students can catch more of its details and read slowly at first. At the end, I like to show the students my own drawing that I have prepared beforehand and for sure, let them show their pictures as well. The third activity is compare and contrast two advertisements. One, have students listen to the ads of two similar products. I usually go with shampoo, toothpaste, or chocolate. Two, they have to note the similarities and differences between them. I like to ask them to draw a Venn diagram so they can organize their notes. Finally, take up their answers on the board by drawing a big Venn diagram and have the students share their findings and vote for the product that they might likely buy based on these notes. Four, write what you hear. Prepare a list of phrases and read them to your students while they write out word for word what they hear. It's similar to a spelling bee, except rather than spelling out the word, they have to write the full sentences. You can change up the difficulty depending on the level of your class you're teaching. You should definitely check out my Listen and Write playlist. I have created a lot of games that you can use right away. I'll keep the link in the description. Last but not least, summarize a story or a talk. This activity is more of a home assignment. You can absolutely do it in the class though. Pick a short story audio or an easy TED talk video and ask your students to summarize what they heard. Then they have to share with the class what they learned the next day. And I usually prepare some follow-up questions to have a little discussion on that topic. If you're doing this in class, allow students to take notes while listening and then create their summary with the notes afterwards. That's pretty much it. I have more ESL games, worksheets, and slides. If you're interested, I'll keep the link to my TBT store in the description. Check it out. Thank you for being with me today. I'll see you next time.